Expats, just a quick one on this as well. Tom has been living and working in Dubai for the past five years. His children are getting older and he'd like for them to get educated in the UK. That means free education in the UK. He is looking to move back home, wants to plan ahead to avoid any tax problems upon arrival. What does he need to be aware of from a tax perspective when returning to the UK? And does the time of year, this is one that gets asked a lot, the time of year for his move matter? Arriving back to the UK in the middle of the tax year as an example. Yeah, um, so this is statutory residency test, which looks at um, two, two main things. Days in the UK, ties to the UK. The more ties you have in the UK, the lower the amount of days you're allowed in the UK before you become a UK tax resident. If you're a UK tax resident, you're taxed on your worldwide income in the UK. Um, unless you're a non-DOM, which we talked about earlier, which means you may be able to claim the remittance basis charge, but let's not go into that again. Um, so Tom needs to be aware that he, he could be subject to worldwide, uh, to UK tax on his worldwide income in the year he returns. So if he has the ability to wait until March to then move back in April, that's going to be a clean cutoff for him because everything up to March is in an old tax year. New tax year starts April, you can come in. Obviously, timings don't work perfectly in, in the real world. So um, you then look at whether you can claim this thing called split year rules, which says up to this date, I'm going to be taxed in the UAE. And after this date, I'm going to be taxed in the UK. It's not a given. Some people can really mess it up. Um, normally, it looks at it like if you cease to have a home in the UK and uh, sorry, you cease to have a home abroad and have a home in the UK. That's one consideration. Some people don't sell their home in UAE or don't have a home in UAE and therefore they don't meet that rule. Um, and other, um, uh, yeah, other considerations is that they maybe start working full time in the UK or sometimes people from the UAE come back or out of our jurisdictions come back and, and don't work for a period of time. And therefore they also meet uh, don't meet that rule. And then all of a sudden their X amount of money in the UAE in the tax year becomes subject to UK tax. So, so it just needs a bit of planning, a bit of thought. Yeah. And also on investments, if somebody had held a number of investments in the UAE, for example, where they wouldn't pay capital gains tax on, on the growth of them prior to returning to the UK, best to take that profit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you're not in the UK for five years and you sell assets, whether they're UK assets or not, ex with the exception of UK resident, uh, sorry, the exception of UK property. Yeah. Then they're not subject to uh, UK tax. So, yeah, if you've got some investments whilst you're in a, a tax haven, it may well be sensible to crystallise those investments whilst you're in the tax haven, because otherwise they could well be subject to UK tax. Uh -huh.